Alright, so welcome back to part two. We're gonna take uh, TFC's Hydrant here into its uh, robot mode. If you want to see the transformation to his torso mode for the combiner, um, we're gonna have to wait until we actually do the review on the combiner uh, just because, you know, I, I just don't really like doing that stuff right now. Um, let's just focus on this toy by itself. So the first thing to do is uh, unpeg this piece here like so these little gray clips and actually let's just take this off because you can do it with the ladder on but it's easier if you don't so once you have those clips undone and this is extremely difficult to do um, kind of rotate this whole assembly like this um, these pins are so tight in there I actually kind of fear for their effective lives and we can take those gray pieces and just kind of put them down and we're just going to leave it like that for now now a word of warning here for this next part I don't recommend putting them into his fire truck mode and pushing this down until you take care of these black pieces um, what I mean by that is we have to take this piece and unpeg it from here now these are just on super little uh, flaps here it's in your best interest to get a file or something and make these holes a little bigger let these holes be the one to actually hold this in place because these are actually solid pieces of plastic these are just tiny little flaps and uh, the first time I did it I actually ended up starting to put stress on uh, the joints there so I highly recommend uh, either filing down these pegs a little which I think is the worst idea or uh, filing this hole so they just don't really grip this peg um, it makes no difference if you do these in any of the modes. So that's my uh, that's my recommendation. So once you have this free, we flip this up and we plug this on in here. And now you can see kind of things sort of unintentionally came undone in that process because it is a really tight fit in there. But uh, we're gonna go and unplug these. Well, let's do one at a time. This side panel here. Fold that in, fold this in, and you can see you have the tab hole here and the tab. So these can plug together as best as you can. Now take these and uh, flip them around. They might get caught on the little heel spur here. Um, if they do, just kind of adjust this out of the way. No real big deal. And then flip this like that. And uh, you can see there's a tab here and a slot there kind of covered like that but you plug it in and that'll put it in the right position so you got that going on we'll do that again for this side unpeg things peg it in flip it around and tab it on in place so that's kind of most of what we have to do now this part you can kind of get the tabs through here but again to alleviate the stress on here I always try to rotate his big leg tabs down and then that allows me to actually get clearance without messing with this thing in the way. So once you have that, tab all that together and uh, find a good spot. I usually try to grip uh, the back here and the bottom of the leg so I'm not pulling on any of the, the tabs, kind of like this, and split his legs like so. Once we have that split, we can take his foot, uh, unpeg it from here kind of have to bring it sideways and we can bring this foot around and before we have it all the way you want to flip it so the black piece is of course making the bottom of the foot like so so to show that again kind of untab it here flip up the red piece continue flipping it around and there we go so you pretty much have his legs done um, which is an issue that we'll get to later Take this, flip it around to the other side there. Um, this little like flat piece, which ends up becoming part of Defensor, just kind of sits somewhere on his back. You can fold it in, whatever you want to do. Um, I just tend to leave it like that, make it as minimally invasive as possible. Um, actually, we need to leave it open to accommodate the ladder. So let's bring the camera on up here. We take this, fold it on down, and peg it on in place. Very simple. Uh, coming around to here, take these and fold them all the way down here, like so. Now, we'll take his head, pop it up, just kind of snaps in place there, 
And now we get to the arms here. Now the arms are an interesting problem to me because you have this joint here that likes to flop down and from what I can see in the instructions unless I'm missing a part or missing a step or something they don't tell you to do anything in particular with this so I always and maybe I did it the first time and just have never noticed it in the instructions um, I take this combiner peg because if you look that shoulder is molded to accommodate it so take this and that kind of locks the shoulder in place like it should, um, which is very important. So we'll go ahead and do that for the other side. Flip this around. Try to get the combiner peg out, which is virtually impossible on these toys without ruining your hand in the process. There we go. Flip this around. I suppose I could have made my life easier if I extended out. Uh, the part of the truck, but what can you do? I didn't think about that right away. So we got this uh, The arms are now kind of locked here Untab these untab these and that's gonna allow this whole piece to kind of rotate around a bit um, Extend it all the way out so you have the clearance to move things and drop these little black pegs or whatever they are uh, in the downward position like that now, what the instructions tell you to do is to bring, nope, them out. I did the wrong thing there. I'm sorry, you guys. So, there we go. Slide out his forearms there. And then, you can see we have the slot here. We'll just put that forward. And uh, while we have this, we'll take this, unpeg it, flip it around uh, so it goes the opposite direction. And uh, you got a peg here that doesn't really hold super secure, but it holds it enough. And we can take his hand. And again, if we can get in there and grip it, just pull it out. This one actually doesn't have a click lock, which I kind of wish it did. Um, it really sort of needs one. So you got that. Then what you're supposed to do is take this, kind of push this on in so it meets with that, and then plug this in back here, and that makes his shoulder. Now one thing I'm uncertain about, and I'll show you with this one, is they have this little extra like plate piece that pops up, and I'm never sure which mode this actually is supposed to, to flip up in. Uh, if you want, you could have it on here and you'd have just like a little extra bump or you can leave it down. Um, yeah, I'm never never entirely sure which one they intend it for, but uh, we're going to leave it in for the sake of this review. So take this, again, plug that on in like so. Flip this around. Plug it in. And try to get in and pull out his fist. And there we go. We've got our, our hot spot here in his uh, robot mode. And, uh, well, if you really want to know what I think about that, um, you have to go check out part one, I suppose. But before you do that, we should probably go ahead and finish this guy, which is to just take this ladder and reattach it on his back. And you'll see why moving it up actually was important because... Um, yeah, without it, it's way too big to actually let him stand. And as it is, it already works kind of like a tripod. So this guy is pretty well never going to fall backwards. Um. All right, so let's get this guy transformed back to his uh, vehicle mode and let's get out of here. Um, again, I'm going to start by taking the ladder off and adjusting this. Um, just because it is so stiff. There we go and lock it in with the little gray tabs there, like so. And uh, in case I didn't point it out in the other mode, it has plenty of articulation. Onto the robot here. Um, take his fists, fold them on up and in, push his head down. There we go. Uh, unclip those so we have them you know, flat and forward. Uh, we will unpeg these pieces here 
just because we're going to need them folded in all the way shortly anyway. I've never noticed this. This piece that like actually slides forward, I don't actually believe it's supposed to, I just... Sorry for the tangent here, it's just the first time I've ever noticed that piece. Anyway, take this and slide it all the way down like this. I'm not sure why that piece moves around there. Uh, take these. This whole assembly is going to kind of go down like this, so flip it around, bring this down. And we might as well telescope the arms on in while we're at it, just like that. Take our fire truck, unpeg it, cover the fist with it. Unpeg, flip, cover the fist. We can now take these black pieces, kind of fit them in position here, and then peg it on in to the front of the truck like that and get this little black piece swiveled out of the way and just in line. So again, flip the black piece out of the way, slide it back on that peg and peg it on in like so. And when we do go to combine mode, it is easiest to start from fire truck so this will help later on in the future. Take this, collapse it all together, obviously just peg everything all in together and take this chest piece, unpeg it and flip it up to the front like that. So that's pretty much the uh, front portion of the truck. We're going to flip this piece around and we'll flip his waist here and uh, like I said before I always fold the legs down a bit to uh, kind of get these panels in place. So once we have this we can actually start working on this. We're going to go ahead flip the feet around like so, put them back in position and peg them in here like that. So they should go nice and flush against there. I'm probably going to have to make adjustments when we work with the panels. Again, flip it around and peg it on in there. So once we got that, we can now take these and uh, peg everything in together so they all move as a cohesive unit. There we go. Just like that. Everything is all pegged in together tight. So now we can work on these panels. So I take this and this and I flip it out and I flip it around like that. And you can see on the sides of the thighs there are the little slots there with the pegs. Just kind of take these and peg them in place. And uh, now we take this, and it's tough to do this, but you kind of get underneath it here, like this, and fold them up and in place, because they're extremely tough leg ratchets there. So in the process, this probably came unpegged. We can go ahead and re-peg everything back in here just to make everything hold secure like that and I'm not sure why this one is fighting me there we go well oh, I thought we had it apparently not and I find a lot of these little tabs on the side do tend to fight a little bit but there you go it pegged in it's now in we can take this piece and fold it down with that in place we can actually unpeg this here, flip it all the way through, and like I said, plug it on in to those four holes. Again, making sure that your front ones are not really gripping it too tight or at all because um, it's unnecessary. So we have this left. So the next thing to do is to kind of unfold this bit here and fold it down like this. And you'll see once we get here, it kind of catches here, so you have to kind of pull the foot out a little to let it finish the rotation and then you can push it on back in position. And once you got that uh, you should have these waist tabs here line up with a hole there so you can kind of plug that in and then we can unpeg this silver piece from there and uh, the silver piece has a piece there that plugs in there and you can see the uh, piece here would be in here uh, in robot mode so that's why we have to move it because we can't actually peg this closed with this the other way 
which is why I don't ever remember moving these uh, prior in the instructions until I realized they lock in the shoulders. Anyway, so we got this, and we plug that on in, making a solid piece on the side here, just making sure everything's plugged in. And we just repeat for this side. Uh, hold this down around, clear the foot. Already we're good there. Plug it on in here. Unpeg this, flip it around, and peg it in there. And there we go, we've got a fire truck. All we have to do is reattach our ladder and make sure that our little uh, skirt flap pieces are out of the way for the sides of the ladder. So there we go. Overall, I find him eh, more fun than Streetwise to transform. Um, more fun because the results are better, in my opinion, for Groove, but I think Groove is an easier transformation. But yeah, definitely pretty cool. So, this is T3X6. I will see you next week.